make a dilation. So we're going to click the Shape Tools button and click More. The first thing we want to do is put our name. So on the bottom we're going to click Text and please put your full name and your period. And we'll change or adjust that if we need to. We can click the Move button and move things. We can move it around later if we need to change the spot. So the main goal is to make a shape. So we're going to click Regular Polygon. And you're going to make a four or five sided shape. I'm going to just choose four. And we're going to dilate that. We're going to make it smaller two times and bigger two times, or one time. So uh, we're going to dilate by clicking Dilate from a point. So we're going to click that shape and then click a point to dilate from. So I'm going to make it away from the shape. Once you do that, it asks you to put in a scale factor. We're going to put in two fractions so that we have a reduction. So there's one half. And then we're going to do it again, touch the shape, touch the point of dilation. And I'll put three fourths. So we can see the dilation. Now I'm going to dilate one time bigger. So I'm going to click dilate from point, click the original shape, click the point E. I'm going to make it two or three times bigger. Um, once you start going past four or five, it gets so big that it's harder to see. So I'm just going to click um, four times as big. Uh, and I might have wanted to make it a little smaller, maybe three times as big. But in any case, our next step is going to be to draw some lines from point E, the point of dilation, to each of the corners. So we're going to click where it says draw a line, which is here on top. And I'm going to click point E and then click point A. Click point E, click point C. Click point E, click point B, and it actually goes through point D as well. So what we want to notice is that when we dilate and connect it to the point of dilation, When we connect that point to each of the sides, they will always touch the enlargement and the reduction. So the last step is to pick a point, and we're going to go back to text and the label, at least one point. So I'm going to label the first one A with a little apostrophe. I'm going to label the second one A with two apostrophes and I'm going to label the third one. So you could pick any letter A, B, C, or D, or E if you have a bigger shape. And just, oops, this one should have two. Let me choose the one I just did because it should have two little, or three, it's the third one. So remember, each little marking represents a new shape. So we know that it's a new version. And those are our dilations. So, I mean, when we originally made dilations with the compass, we're here kind of working backwards. We would start with the shape we want, and then our point of dilation, and we would draw these lines first. And then we know anywhere on the guide it would be a dilation.